Hello guys, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to start developing for your BS Vita using this new Henkaku uh, homebrew that's been released a few days ago. Uh, the plan is to show how to use, how to uh, build Vita to the lib, which is an example made by this guy Xerpy. And we're going to use, we're going to be using Docker, which is an amazing tool for containers, for containers where we have all the toolchains toolchain already installed. So I already have Docker installed. If you want to install it, there's like multiple uh, links online. You can just Google and you'll do it in a second. Um, in my case, I'm going to start by cloning this uh, this library from GitHub. So this is basically git clone and this guy. Nothing, nothing fancy here. And I'm just gonna run docker run it because I want it to be, I wanna have access to it. That's B, I wanna mount a volume, which is gonna be pw, which is the current directory. And I wanna have it in root. Uh, I wanna use my own image. You can use you can use the same image. It has all the tools and all the libraries that you need already in there. So chain, uh, let's just have bash. Once we are in the container, in your case, this might take a few minutes because you have to download like a whole gig of the toolchain. So once we're inside, we can do Vita to the lib, and we will have to install the library first, which lives in lib Vita 2D. And this is pretty easy just to make install. This is gonna install the, the lib Vita 2D libraries in, in your container. It's already installed was a success and then we can build the package uh, there's this sample package it's not super big but it's gonna be okay as an example so we just make all this is gonna take again a few a few seconds uh, and now we have this new file the BP BPK, which is the the packages that we use in the Vita. So now, on your Vita, you'll have to open Molecular Shell. And you need to start the FTP server. And here I just have Fire FTP from, from Firefox. Uh, I can just go to sample and look for the file that I want to transfer connect to my beta. I'm going to send it to UX0 and oh I already have it but I've just overwrite it. Let's see. Once it's already there you can just uh, you know find it in your molecular shell and install it from there and give it a try. Okay I hope that this encourage more people to start developing and um, for me, the good thing about using this Docker container is that you won't have to install and compile the toolchain by yourself. You can just use one that's already pre-compiled and ready to use. And you just can just focus on writing the code, the C code, or whatever code that you want to write for your beta. So I hope you guys enjoy it. 